Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you for all of your support, all of your likes, all of your shares, all of your comments. If you are interested in a private reading, please just click on my website. I do have it linked below in the description bar. Lastly, I am on social media. So I am now on Facebook. If you're interested in liking my page on Facebook, please do. I am also on Instagram. And if you are interested in receiving a daily Oracle guidance message, I do draw and upload a daily Oracle guidance card every single day to my Instagram account. So if you're interested in that, then please head over and, and follow me on Instagram. Oh, and, and one last thing, um, for these general tarot forecasts, you should always be sure to watch not only your sun sign, but also your moon sign and your rising sign. If you happen to not know what your moon or rising sign are, I do have linked in the description bar below a website that actually can calculate that for you for free. So I wish you all a wonderful week. Just stay tuned for the reading. Hi Pisces, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of August 15th through the 21st. This is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising Signs. bottom of the deck Pisces I have the two of cups very nice so if you're in a partnership a relationship or even a business partnership I see things improving uh, you could be spending more time with your partner if you're in a romantic relationship this could be you growing closer um, maybe you're taking things um, up to the next level this is you growing closer um, emotionally connecting more with your partner on a deeper level the overall energy is the Six of Swords, so this is very nice. This is forward movement, Pisces. So for some of you, maybe you're simply moving forward with your life in some way. You're moving towards more harmony within your relationships. With, with this being a Six, you're moving towards peace of mind. And then for some other Pisces, you could be traveling. Uh, maybe you and your partner are going on vacation. You could be taking... Um, a long drive, uh, traveling with your partner. We are starting out with the High Priestess. So for many of you, this is you needing to listen to your intuition this week, needing to definitely go within, listen to your intuition, especially if you're making any decisions. Um, but I do see you learning something for, for some of you because I have the High Priestess looking directly at the Ace of Wands here. And this is an exciting new beginning. It can be a passionate new beginning. For me, the Ace of Wands is, is the most passionate card within the entire deck. So for some Pisceans, this could be you learning something about a relationship or about your partner. There's something that's very positive and exciting going on within your life and this could be you learning something for some of you you're listening to your intuition with maybe moving towards this new beginning this exciting new beginning and with the ace of swords underneath the ace of wands this is communication this is very clear can be blunt communication coming through and the ace of swords you know this is clarity this is cutting to the truth of the matter and with the High Priestess here, I feel like you're definitely learning something, um, receiving that clarity, receiving that communication when it comes to something exciting, a beautiful new beginning. This could be a new relationship, a new job, a new home, maybe something that you're passionate about, Pisces. But this is also victory. This is success. This is success and victory after going down a very long road with lots of challenges, lots of obstacles. Um, and I can see that for some of you, it's been stressful. With the Ten of Wands, maybe something's been hidden. Um, something's been weighing on you. You've been maybe waiting for clarity or communication in regards to this Ace of Wands, and maybe it was starting to take a toll on you or, or weighing you down or stressing you out in some way. But with this being the Ten of Wands, this is coming to an end. 
This is, you know, a, a difficult time or period, a stressful period that's now coming to an end. You are moving forward. You're moving uh, from stormy waters into much more calmer waters, moving towards peace of mind, more harmony within your relationships. And I do feel like relationships are quite significant this week, no matter if they're romantic, no matter if they're business or even family relationships. Communication is quite significant this week, Pisces. We have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. So this could be an offer or an opportunity that's coming through. This could be a job opportunity or a financial offer opportunity. So we have the Page of Pentacles um, with the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands can represent communication coming in quite suddenly. But this is all about movement as well. This is things looking up and things moving forward, things improving. Um, but I see a lot of communication this week. So for some of you, that's communication in regards to this Ace of Wands, something that you're passionate about. This could be a new job. This could be a higher paying position or a position of authority. Maybe you're receiving an opportunity uh, to move up within the company that you work for because I also have the Emperor here. So for some of you, this certainly could have something to do with career. Maybe you're moving up literally within the company that you work for. And then others, this is you just being quite successful. This is you moving forward, moving towards success, um, receiving really positive communication that allows you to move towards this victory. And maybe it's been, you know, it's been a long road. Pisces, but I see you celebrating this. This is really nice. I see a lot of communication coming in. For some of you, it's coming in quite unexpectedly. And now I see you celebrating this, wanting to tell your friends, wanting to tell your family with the Three of Cups. This is a nice, lighter energy. So, you know, whatever was weighing you down and burdening you, Pisces, stressing you out, you're moving towards peace of mind, you're moving towards a much lighter energy. And, and being able to celebrate this, celebrate this success. For some of you, I definitely feel like this is related to career. Maybe you're landing a job, you know, your dream job or something that's really exciting. For others, I think you're moving up within the company that you work for. And then for other Pisces, I even feel like this is something to do with a house, something to do with family or even your significant other. Maybe you're buying a home together. This is some really amazing energy. Um, I do feel like this is your energy. You're empowered, you're in control with the energy of the emperor. And you're moving towards success, so this is beautiful. Honestly, I think you're, you have some amazing energy here this week, Pisces. You're gonna have a great week financially. I think it's gonna be a great week. I see you know offers, I see opportunities for many of you. Emotionally, I think it's going to be a great week. Just make sure, you know, you're going within, you're listening to your intuition. For those of you that are coupled, I think it's going to be a great week. Spending more time with your partner, growing closer. Let me pull you an additional guidance card. You're moving towards success, Pisces, so this is wonderful. All right, I do have a card that just flipped. Very nice. Isabella, yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. Beautiful. Very nice. So that's just a lovely confirmation, Pisces. As you can see, a happy outcome follows your positive expectations. So remain positive and know that you're moving towards success. You have a beautiful spread here, Pisces. So I do hope that you found this reading helpful and I hope you have a great week. Take care.